Mike, I think this is Boston Mike. Mike is Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, sir. Don't start my clock till I'm ready. I get nervous. <laughs> you got to be gentle. I've, I've seen you guys on YouTube. No, I'm, they call me the gentle one. The gentle one? Okay. Right. I, don't, I don't know. That's not what I've seen on YouTube. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I know you're. It's I know you're good. Moves. So don't even pretend like you're not. What's up, everybody? It's E4, right? That doesn't make sense. All right. Why would you so nervous. Play? Coffee chest. I understand. There's a good reason why you'd be nervous. Okay. We'll do. We'll do your way. We'll do it your way. We'll take a hike. Daddy, what kind of coffee do you want? You want coffee? Coffee? Um. Sure, actually. You want just what black? Yeah, well, teeny oh, you bit of cream. I'd say you want some fancy. We've got frappuccinos. Te teeny bit of cream if you have it. Okay. Ice or cold? Uh, oh, hot or cold? Hot or cold? Yeah. Hot. What about? Uh, if you want some large coffee, hot coffee. Yeah. Green tea, yeah. Green tea, I don't know if I'm gonna drink it, but I feel like I feels like a good idea. We got a mic here and everything. This is full, full setup. All right. I'm trying. There's only so much I can do to help you. You know that, right? I, I do know that. I, Mike, what do you think his rating is? Probably 800. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only. That only 800. <laughs> working on working on my puzzles. What kind of bad move is this? 800 on lead chest. I'm about 400 on chest. Bro, what are you doing? That's wrong. <laughs> we got we got other other movies going too. So, oh, this is where Brian go. Brian Chandler's not here yet, huh? I'm gonna help you out. I'm helping you out. I don't want to do it, but okay. I'll go here. Bro, bro, that isn't helping me out. Okay. Great start. We'll take it. Wow. Remember the old days? It's dangerous when your rug crosses that far. I'm, well, you I'm, as, nervous. I'm as nervous as you are about it. You're gonna be kidding me. I'm as nervous as you are That's about it. This isn't good. My rook is hanging, so it's okay. At the end, you win my rook, too. It's an equal trade. Hold it. All right, we'll go there. Yeah, it'll be. It'll just be an equal trade, I promise you. I'm kidding. I'm lying. I don't know why I did that. I don't need to lie. You can't ask the to your baby. Oh, that's a free queen! <laughs> oh no! Oh my oh, goodness! No, no he's not oh, doing no. it. He's not. You gotta let it go. Oh, man. It's not every day you get the Venus flytrap, so I think you owe me to play it out. I think that's the rule. All right, okay. I think that's the rule. It's like an unwritten rule that we have. Go the other way. Go the other way. But at this, go point, way at this point, it's either way. Either way, it was. Oh, okay. Man. Thank you. Thank okay. you. I did that. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Who do we got here? Uh, Julian and uh, Julian. You learned when did you learn how to play chess? Uh, not. I was a few years ago. All right, Danny, you gotta watch out for these kids. Right? Okay, I'm I'm very aware. You're gonna spot me five too. Hey guys, Brian here, and a beautiful attack by Danny, man. This is how you know you're playing a great player. First off, targets this weakness, right? And figures Mike would defend with the rook. Here comes the fork, and instead of taking immediately, comes in with the queen, check. Goads Mike into taking the rook, and he is right. Like, when you have a cool mate, there is an unwritten rule in chess. You have to show it just because you put in a lot of work <laughs> to get to this point to show the cool mate. And I think someone in the audience mentioned, why not Mike go the other way? In the game, he went here. We saw what happened, but going back here, even if he went king back, queen here would be checkmate to finish it off. So... 
Wow, beautifully done by Danny, man. That is how you do it. And props to Mike, too, because he actually hung well in this game for the first, like, 22 moves. Uh, pretty even-ish, but I think the inflection point here was in the game we had F5. Let's go move back. Went from 0.7 to 2.4, so that's a pretty big jump. What would be another move for Black here? This is a tough one because it's kind of a uh, dry position, right? So what do you really do? One idea could be bishop here and if queen takes, now king takes, or I'm sorry, queen takes knight and queen e3 back to defend. But now rook b8 and now you're the one kind of um, dictating the the initiative here. And if rook b1, then you can play bishop here, bishop here, queen takes and Black is better by a little bit at negative 0.2. So going over here, if instead queen d3 to target here, counterattack, rook b6 to defend, and now this could be one continuation, try to take over the file. And um, game's a little bit better for for white at 0.7. So that that's just one way to kind of uh, spice the position up. But alas, we saw what happened, and... Danny um, targeting the weakness here, and in the game, Rook D was played, it's going to move back. Some of you may be wondering, why not just Rook here to avoid falling for the fork, right? That happened in the game. So going back here, can you calculate why Rook B6, or I'm sorry, Rook F6 is a mistake for black? Yes, Rook F6, and now what do you play? First, you play the queen check, and the idea is if king over, what do you play as white? Yes, rook a8, ooh, that's nasty. So going back here, if you try to tempo with uh, bishop e6, what do you play? Yes, rook a8 again. If take, take, back, take, 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 and... White is winning. So that was the reason why, in case any wonder, Rook F6 does not work. Danny just uh, plowing through our players and just, uh, for those who are wondering, Duck did not come that day. Uh, it's feeling a little bit off weather. So, and it was a bit cold for him too. So he didn't come to play, but happy to say that Morphe Bob did play him. And you guys will see that game tomorrow. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Morphe Bob, one of our best attackers. Let's see how he does against Danny. And it's a great game by both. Thanks again for Dandy to come play with the boys. That's really nice of him. And thanks to Chess.com for sending him as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe with that notification. Thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.